Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and this video is gonna be all of you guys who love GTA RP. Now, a lot of you guys have been playing it recently and have been demanding me to make a video on it. So here it is, how you can optimize your 5M to get better FPS. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply head over to settings on your PC and once you open it up, head down to personalization and then head over to colors. Simply disable transparency effects over here. Then you wanna have to head over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. This will disable you to open up game bar within the games using the shortcut keys. To that, head back to gaming, head over to game mode and enable this thing. It will help you to optimize your PC by disabling unnecessary animations and background applications and services to optimize the performance. After that, click on the graphics button over here and then you have to enable optimizations for windowed games. Click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Both of them helps you to reduce latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game. After that, you have a list of all of the apps you have installed on your PC and to locate 5M, simply search for that on your PC, right click on that and click on open file location. Once you're in the file location, simply copy this directory, click on add desktop app and then paste it right over here. Select 5M.exe and then click on the add button. Once you've added that, select it and then you have to click on the GPU preference and select high performance over here. Ensure that optimizations for windowed games is turned on and then you want to add your GTA 5 legacy. Click on the add desktop app once again, go to the directory of your GTA 5 legacy version and then select gta5.exe. Click on the add button over here and if that is already added, scroll down to find it, select it and then for the GPU preference, select high performance to ensure that it utilizes your graphic card. Ensure optimizations for windowed games is turned on and once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is de-animating windows and for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here, click on the custom button and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will help you to minimize the basic look of your windows and optimize your performance. Click on the OK button. Next step is disabling unwanted background apps and if you guys are using Windows 10, you can simply disable that from settings. But if you guys are using Windows 11, here is how you can do that. Simply search for edit group policy on your PC and this option will be only available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, administrator templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open this policy and ensure that it is set to enable this will not enable the applications running in the background but this will enable the policy then for this policy you have to set it to force deny and then click on apply and that will deny all of the applications running in the background reducing the number of processes running in the background to optimize your performance once that is done simply close this next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here go down and find your local disk c and then click on the create button name it 5m just so you can remember it and i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done click on the close button and then close system properties next step is the 5m fps boost pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can find in five simple folders the first one is cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu priority if you have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority and so for the intel cpu priority it will optimize the dword value for your processor to improve the performance second one is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of presets according to your ram i have 32 gb ram so i need to apply this registry it could be different for you so you can apply it according to your pc and it helps you to optimize the performance of your ram third folder is the 5m priority in which i have left 5m high priority and normal priority you guys have to apply the 5m high priority to optimize the performance of your game and if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to normal priority Fourth one over here is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless and consumes a lot of CPU usage in the background. Unless you use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would recommend you guys should disable every single one of these services listed over here to optimize the performance of your games. And once again, if at any moment you want to enable them back, head over to the revert registries folder to revert them back again. Fifth folder over here is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files dot bat. You're gonna have to right click in on it as a administrator once you're over here press the enter key and this will start deleting all temporary files off of your pc which is really helpful in longevity and shader cache reduction i would highly recommend you guys to clean your prefetch every now and then to ensure that all of your games are running smoothly once that is done press enter next one over here is msi mode utility 3.0 what you guys have to do is right click and on it as administrator and once it opens in front of you you have to select your graphic card 
click on the MSI button next to it. And then for the interrupt priority, you're gonna have to select high over here and then click on the apply button. This will ensure that your graphic card can handle higher interrupts to optimize the performance. Once it is done, simply close it and you guys can now close the FPS pack. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, latency and ping issues using no ping. I have left a link to them down in the description below. You guys can simply download no ping by clicking on the free trial over here or the get no ping button. Once you've installed and opened it up, you guys can simply look up for 5M over here and click on that. Then it will show you the nearest region to you. If you guys cannot find the nearest region right over here, you can simply head over to buy country and then select the nearest region by latency. I have the lowest latency in the Mumbai servers. Click on optimize this game to one click, boost the performance. This will not only help you to improve your ping, packet loss and latency, but it also has a boost FPS section wherein if you enable these options, you guys can also boost the FPS in the games, which is a huge benefit factor in this app. Once again, I have left a link to no ping down in the description below. You guys can go and check it out right over there and let me know how it works for you guys. Next step is a disk optimization. And for that, simply search for defrag and optimize drives and open it up. You'll have to find your local disk C over here and then look at the media type. If that is solid state drive, click on the optimize button and it will trim the SSD to reduce unused compartments between the data, which will help you to optimize your SSD. If it is a hard disk drive, you have to click on the analyze button and once that is done click on optimize to start fragmenting your hard disk drive it does the same thing but for your hdd it helps you to optimize the performance of your discs to ensure that your game is loaded up correctly and works without any kind of stutters once you're done with all of that you guys can now drop into the game with the best in-game settings all right once you load up in the game press your escape key and then head down to settings over here come down to the graphic settings and then do the following changes Scroll a bit down, make sure that your render resolution is your native monitor resolution. Your output monitor should be the monitor that you use. FXAA should be turned off. MSAA should be turned off. VSync should be turned off. Then you have population density, population variety and distance scaling. You guys can go somewhere around this value. Lower this is, the better FPS you get. Extended texture budget should be set to low. Texture quality, you guys can go with normal. Shader quality, go with normal. Shadow quality, off. Reflection quality, normal. Reflection MSAA, off. Water quality, normal. Particle quality, normal. Grass quality, normal. Soft shadows, softest. Post FX should be normal as well. Anisotropic filtering, go with X2 because it's dirt cheap. Ambient occlusion, go with off. Tessellation, you guys can go with normal as well. But if it is really high on your graphic card, you guys can go with off. Once it is done, press the space bar and then press enter and this will restart your game. Press enter once again and now you guys can enjoy your RP with the best FPS possible. So that was it for this video guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all to help me grow it. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.